This is Mahua Karmakar, Professor cum Principal from Jagannath Gupta Institute of Nursing Sciences, Bajbaj, a registered nurse, practitioner and educator into the profession for more than 20 years. I am a trained caregiver for persons living with dementia from University of Stirling, UK. This session we will be discussing the care and management of dementia with focus on prevention of fall, wandering and getting lost. Safety is essential for everyone, but the need for comprehensive safety plan is particularly important for a person living with dementia. Dementia affects each person differently. Safety may be affected by dementia symptoms such as confusion, memory loss and disorientation. There may be limited mobility and coordination problem or by chance in the environment. Family, friends and health professionals together can help the person with dementia feel safe and be secure as much as possible. A safety checklist can also help to make sure that the environment inside and outside the home is safe to the optimum. As the disease progresses, the person's ability starts diminishing further. The caregiver's prime concern is to ensure safety of a person living with dementia. Adapting creative and flexible measures to support these changes may not only improve safety and prevent injuries, but will also help the person feel at ease and maintain his or her independence for longer period of time. Approaches that ensure safety are preventive measures, adaptive actions and protective practices. Dementia friendly environments, whether indoor or outdoor, need to be designed to ensure safety. Dignity and respect must be taken into account for impairments that might be experienced by people with dementia. While Alzheimer's disease and other dementias affect each individual differently, symptoms such as confusion and disorientation, limitations in mobility or coordination and memory loss pose serious safety concern. So our primary concern is to understand the safety risks associated with dementia. A person may lose their sense of time and place and they may forget how to perform activities of daily living for simple tasks as, such as boiling of water for tea or coffee. They may become forgetful that the pot is on the stove and this may eventually turn into potential fire hazards. There may be diminishing senses such as hearing, depth of perception, temperature sensitivity and vision which may compromise further safety. A person with dementia may experience hallucinations or delusions which may lead to confusion and wandering. The people prone to wandering may begin to walk down the street and if they lose their sense of time and place, they may even forget to return to home or even their house where their house is. Impairment of judgment and reasoning can make the person more likely to fall victim of scam posing danger of economical loss and harm. Another example of potential safety risks associated with memory loss is polypharmacy. 
they may forget to either take medicines or may repeat same medications over and over again. In both the cases, forgetting or taking the medicine over and over again pose serious health consequences. But the most undesirable safety issue associated is with the gait dysfunction and balance disorders, which are common in mid to late stages of dementia are important risk factors for falls. Factors thought to contribute to fall risk in patients with dementia include environmental hazards, multiple comorbidities, use of restraints, certain medications, their side effects, postural hypertension, improper footwear, vision or hearing loss, impaired cognition, wandering and ambulation assistive device uses. Incidence of falls among patients with Alzheimer's disease and dementia is very high. Evaluating and ensuring safety at the most. Once safety risks are assessed, evaluate the behavior, abilities and help of health of the person with dementia. Check for potential hazards and make a note of changes that can be made. Some of the steps which may be taken to account are assess client's level of disorientation and confusion, reorientation frequently, providing wayfinding cues such as arrows, signs, path indicators, color-coded graphics. Also place furniture in the room in an arrangement that best accommodates clients' disabilities. Keep familiar or personal object to create safe and comfortable surrounding. Store items that the client uses frequently within easy reach. Remove potentially harmful articles from client's room like cigarettes, matches, lighters and any other sharp objects. Encourage use of eyeglasses and hearing aids. Observe client behaviors frequently. Assign staff on one-to-one -one basis if condition warrants. Safety measures may be discussed under different headings starting with indoor safety tips. First, let us take into account the bathroom safety tips. Install a shower chair and grab bars. Address slippery surfaces. Place non-skid strips or mat near the bathtub or the bath area. Shower, toilet and sink. Use a faucet cover in the bathtub. A foam rubber faucet cover can help prevent serious injury if the person with dementia falls inside it. Reduce the water temperature. Set the thermostat on water heater to below 120 degree Fahrenheit to prevent burning. Remove door locks. Consider removing locks from the bathroom doors to prevent the person from accidentally locking inside the bathroom. Next, we shall consider the kitchen safety tips. Prevent access to potentially dangerous appliances. Install safety knobs on the stove to prevent the person with dementia from turning the stove on or off. Remove artificial fruits or vegetables as decorative pieces or food-shaped magnets from the kitchen. These objects might distract and appear to be edible. Lock up all breakable or potentially dangerous supplies. 
install child proof latches on cabinets and drawers to limit access to items such as cleaning products, alcohol, matches, knives, scissors and even plastic bags to avoid choking. Next, let us consider the bedroom safety tips. Install a monitoring device. This might be particularly helpful if he or she has advanced dementia. Take caution when using heating devices. Don't use portable space heaters in the person's bedroom. If electric blankets or heating pads are used, keep the controls out of reach for the persons living with dementia. Next, we will discuss the living room safety tips. Avoid clutter. Recycle old newspapers and magazines. Keep areas where people walk free of furniture and cords. Avoid sharp edged furniture or use protective padding on sharp edges. In the garage, shade and basement, the safety measures should be taken into account. Lock up potentially dangerous items, install child-proof latches or locks on cabinets where we keep tools, machines, sporting equipments, paints, fertilizers, gas, cleaning supply or other toxic materials. Lock all vehicles. Consider covering or removing vehicles and bikes that aren't frequently used if the person has advanced dementia. Next, we will consider the safety measures with medication use. Lock up potentially hazardous products or medications inside a cupboard. Use child restaurant caps on medication containers to address polypharmacy. Use pill boxes, set alarms or talking clocks for reminder for self-medication. After this indoor safety tips, now we shall discuss on the outdoor safety tips. To ensure safety outdoors, one must check exists. If the person with dementia uses a walker or wheelchair, make sure he or she will be able to get in and out of home only when he is assisted. Consider widened doors or adding ramps. Keep steps safe. Mark the edges of steps with bright tape. Keep steps sturdy and textured to prevent fall when it is wet. Restrict access to the pool or ponds. Surround a swimming pool or hot tub with a fence. Install a gate with lock. Cover the pool or hot tub when it is not in use. Prevention of accidents is prime. Driving demands good judgment, quick reaction time and split-second decision-making. Because of the progressive nature of Alzheimer's, a person with this disease will eventually become unable to drive. Check for signs that it may be time to stop driving. The signs are forgetting how to locate familiar places, failing to observe traffic signals, making slow or poor decisions, driving in an inappropriate speed, becoming angry or confused while driving, hitting curbs, using poor lane control, making errors at intersections. Other safety precautions include 
preparation for emergencies. Display emergency numbers and home address tattooed or as jewelry all the time with the client. Adjust the home phone and voicemail settings. Lower the linger volume of your home phone to prevent distraction and confusion. Keep stairs safe. Install light switches at the top and bottom of stairs. Make sure stairs have at least one handrail that extends beyond the first and last steps. Install smoke alarms. Place them in or near the kitchen and all sleeping areas. Check the locks. Make sure there are working locks on all windows and front and back doors. Keep a spare set of house keys outside of the house in case the person with dementia locks the caregiver inside. Keep computer equipments out of the way. If you store valuable documents on your computer, protect the files with passwords and create backup files. Consider monitoring the person's computer use. Another important area to ensure safety includes wandering and its prevention. Wandering and becoming lost is common among people like Alzheimer's disease or dementia. This behavior can happen in the early stages of dementia even if the person has never wandered in the past. It is important to be aware of the risk factors of wandering. One must observe for signs of wandering which are forgets how to get to familiar places, returns from regular walk or drive later or earlier than usual, talks about fulfilling former obligations like going to work, tries or wants to go home even when the person is at home. Now let us focus on tips to reduce wandering. Study his behavior. Look for patterns and understand when and why they wander and adjust accordingly. One way wander because of restlessness, hallucination and delusion. Try going on more walks together. If it happens in the afternoon, fill that time with an activity. Introduce meaningful activities. Provide opportunities for the person to engage in structured, meaningful activities throughout the day. It may involve the person in daily activities such as folding clothes, ironing or even preparing dishes for dinner. Exercise is also very important. Make sure the person gets some exercise. This can reduce anxiety, agitation and restlessness. Exercise also improves memory in people with dementia. Consult a doctor. Wandering may be caused by side effects of medications or delusions and hallucinations that come with dementia. A scalate matter to the doctor to rule these causes out or for help addressing them with medication. Know the stops. Keep a list of familiar places one might seek out, including favorite restaurant, friends' homes, and former job places. Also identify dangerous areas like stairwells, 
construction sites, bodies of water and busy streets. Seek community help. Tell neighbors and local police that one tends to wander and ask they notify immediately if they see them out alone. Update client's picture. Keep a recent photo of them. Shot from about medium distance to show authorities and others in case necessary arises. Accessories. Let them wear some sort of dementia identification, ID, jewelry at all times like bracelets or necklaces. On the ID, include one's name, address, phone number and important medical information. As we proceed our discussion, we take a note on perceptual disturbances the person with dementia face. These disturbances are delusion and hallucinations. Hallucinations are actually perception of something that is not really present and delusions are fixed false beliefs that can lead to paranoia. One must understand ways of management of hallucination and delusion. Paint walls in solid or light color to reflect more light which are less confusing than a patterned wall. Make sure there is adequate lighting. Dimly lit areas may produce confusing shadows or difficulty with interpreting everyday objects. Reduce glare by using soft light or frosted bulbs. Partially closing blinds or curtains and maintaining adequate globes or shades on light fixtures. Remove or cover mirrors if they cause the person with dementia to become confused or frightened. Avoid violent or disturbing television programs or movies. The person with dementia may believe a story to be real. Do not confront the person with dementia who becomes aggressive due to hallucination and delusion. Another aspect which confronts safety are impairment of senses. The impairment can cause safety concern and therefore precautions should be taken. Starting with problems associated with changes in vision. As people with Alzheimer's may no longer be able to interpret accurately what they see because of brain changes. Also, their sense of perceptions and depth may be altered. These changes can cause safety concerns and following precautions may be taken. Create color contrast between floors and walls to help the person see the depth. Floor coverings are less visually confusing if they are in solid color. Use dishes and placement mats in contrasting colors for easier identification. Mark the edges of steps with brightly colored strips of tape to outline changes in height and depth. Place brightly colored signs or simple pictures on the doors to important rooms of the other doors like bathroom, bedroom, etc. These will ease identification of the specific rooms. Be aware that a small pet that blends in with the floor or lies in walk maze may be hazardous. The person with dementia may 
trip over the pit. Next point of discussion is to focus on smell issue. Install smoke detectors and check them frequently. The person with dementia may not smell smoke or not associate it with danger. Keep refrigerators clear of spoiled foods. The next issue is problem with touch. Keep water heaters at safe mode to prevent burns. Color code separate water faucets handles with red or danger sign for hot and blue for cold. Place a sign on oven, coffee maker, toaster, pots, irons or other hot equipments. Paste do not touch or stop very hot on them. The person with Alzheimer's should not use appliances without supervision. Unplug all the electrical appliances when they are not in use. People with Alzheimer's disease may lose taste sensitivity. As their judgment declines, they also may place dangerous or inappropriate things in their mouth. To concern the taste sensation and ensure safety, keep all condiments such as salt, sugar, spices hidden if you see the person with Alzheimer's using them in excessive manner. Too much salt, sugar or spice can be irritating to the stomach or cause other health problems. Remove or lock up medicine cabinet items such as toothpaste, perfume, drugs, lotions, shampoos, rubbing alcohol, soap or any other medicines which may look and smell like food to the person with Alzheimer's. Learn the helmic maneuver or other techniques to use in case of choking. If possible, keep a spare set of dentures. If the person keeps removing dentures, check for correct fit. People with Alzheimer's disease may have normal hearing, but they may lose their ability to interpret what they are actually hearing. These loss may result in confusion or overstimulation. To tackle this, avoid excessive noise in the home such as having the stereo and the TV on at the same time. Be sensitive to the amount of noise outside the home or inside the home. Close the windows if necessary. Avoid large gatherings of people in the home if the person with Alzheimer's shows signs of agitation or distress in crowds. So, as we conclude, we discussed people with dementia may have a number of different forms of impairments or incapacity which compromises safety and security. Caregiver must acknowledge indoor and outdoor environments and should design in such a way that people with dementia can feel calm and relaxed. A person-centered support may acknowledge that everybody has different capabilities and needs. It will ensure that the right of the person with dementia to make their own choice is respected and in doing so will promote the independence of the person living with dementia. This will ensure that the person's dignity 
is maintained at the same time good design will take into account the persons with dementia's safety and minimize the chances of risk to fall and injury